The European automotive industry is in complete crisis mode. They've already initiated a probe into China saying it is unfairly subsidizing vehicles being sold in Europe, but that's just a small thing. You all probably knew about that. You probably didn't know about the fact that Magna, one of Europe's biggest car manufacturers, it's a contract car manufacturer, claims that giga castings don't make sense. They're a bad idea. Toyota disagree, even though they don't use them and plan on doing so in the future. However, now basically the French government is worried that giga castings will hurt the automotive industry in France. So it's saying they're a bad idea, they're a terrible thing. And it's listed all these reasons why car manufacturers shouldn't be using giga casts or mega casting or any efficient way to build a car because it threatens their livelihoods. Well, it didn't say that exactly, but pretty much. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Interestingly, right? When Tesla said it was it was doing giga castings and structural battery packs, the automotive industry in Europe and France just went, whatever, we know better than Tesla. And they have kind of mocked Tesla on a few occasions. However, Japanese did the same thing. Uh, Americans pretty much did the same thing. Only China went, hang on a minute. Is that a good idea? Actually, that makes sense. Let's do it. And within a matter of months, about eight different Chinese car companies had found out who Tesla was using as its supplier for giga casting machines and had already placed orders. And within a matter of what, a year, about five different manufacturers were using different techniques, whether that was structural batteries or some version of giga castings, they were doing it. And now they're doing it. And now Europe is saying, oh no, that's a bad idea. Oh, we didn't do that. So we're under threat. Therefore, we'll come up with reasons on why you shouldn't be doing it as well. Very dangerous thing to do this. This is like the situation when you say, you know what? I've been beaten and now I'm going to cry foul. I'm going to say you've cheated. You cheated to win the race. You shouldn't have been allowed to do that. That's what I think is going on here. But let's have a look at what they actually said. First of all, Magnus says, Tesla driven move to mega casting doesn't make sense. And the supply or the, the boss, the European boss of Magna says he has concerns about the car building technique pioneered by Tesla that Volvo and others, including Toyota now, plan to adopt. So, hey, kudos to Toyota, at least even though they're late to the party, at least they've gone and said, you know what? Everyone thinks we're the kings of manufacturing. No, we're not. Tesla is making EVs much better than we are. We're going to copy what they're doing and they've really started getting into it. That's a good decision from Toyota. And hopefully that pays off for them. Magna International is a world leader in metal body parts and in contract manufacturing. For example, Magna make the Jaguar I-Pace. Jaguar makes nothing. Magna makes the entire car pretty much. Now, Magna is saying it's cautious about moving into mega casting which combines multiple underbody parts in one. Pioneered by Tesla and its suppliers, the process is being investigated by automakers. Volvo will plan to use it in 2025. Toyota are planning to use it in either 2025 or 2026. Uh, there's, like I said, numerous Chinese automakers. You can already buy BYDs with structural battery packs. There's numerous brands in China with structural battery packs. They're moving into gig casting as well because it simply makes sense. However, here's what Magna said. There's too many risks. I think we have got to be careful. It's not as easy as it seems, Magna's new head of Europe said at the auto show in Munich. So he was asked, are you moving into mega castings at the auto show in Munich? And he said, we're going a little bit into it. What does that mean? A little bit into it? I don't know. Obviously, we all know that there is one automaker very active on this. He's referring to Tesla. I know that a lot of people are reviewing their products. I think we have got to be careful. It's not as easy as it seems for quality reasons. It's also very capital intensive, but we are moving higher in tonnages for pressing. Casting is a really big business for us, especially with aluminum casting, and it's growing for us too. We're looking into mega casting, but we're not actively pursuing it. Now, to me, that sounds, well, hey guys, what do you think that sounds like? I think it's fair to say, <laughs> it's pretty obvious what that sounds like. Uh, we've been caught with our pants down and I'm going to try and pretend my pants aren't down and just quietly pull them up without you seeing. But the thing is, it's too late. So now France, 
who are obviously part of this whole segment of Europe, automakers in Europe. France is very, very dependent as well, like Germany, on its automotive industry. It's a very big percentage of the French economy. A lot of people don't realize this. I don't actually talk about this much on the channel, but now the French Automobile Distribution Federation, or FIDA, which is kind of like the French auto industry, has issued an alert, a red alert, about the risks of gigapress technology. As per the Federation, the growing practice of using gigacastings, which Toyota now believes is the way forward, in the vehicle production process carries risks for the automotive industry. Yeah, like bankruptcy for your car companies. But anyway, gigacasting is a manufacturing process that involves the use of mammoth machines to produce entire parts of a vehicle in a single block. This can reduce, well, this drastically reduces the number of parts. For example, Toyota said it reduces their parts in their car from 88 down to one. They say that's brilliant. It means so much more manufacturing simplicity. The, uh, the gigacasting is much more rigid than what you would have if you machined, welded, uh, stamped, riveted, all these different glued, all these different parts together and hope that they all work right. They don't always work right. That's why we have problems sometimes with this sort of process. And Toyota have said there's a huge amount of benefits to this weight reduction and the actual speed of production. Like I said, the rigidity of the car, all these things are improved. In fact, even its crash worthiness is improved. Look at Tesla's crash testing. It's the best in the industry. This is one of the reasons. Anyway, the Model Y is a profitable and very safe mass market electric car that became the world's best selling car this year. Good reason. The cost to produce it is lower as a result of using gigapress machines. Of course, now Tesla one up the ante with mega casting. This is a bit of a different process. It's kind of like you see a toy car, right? And you see how they make the toy car. Take the roof off it. You can see the platform underneath. That's the kind of thing we're talking about. Now, in a press release, the French automotive industry said it is concerned that the use of gigacastings could have significant environmental and financial consequences for consumers. The feeder highlighted that this could be the case if the vehicles that are built with gigacastings are in need of repair. Now, I'm going to rebut this in a minute, but here's what they said. The risks are very real. They deserve to be anticipated and as far as possible, avoided. Don't buy a Tesla. The first weighs on household budgets with repairs that are far more costly in the long run. When a mega part has to be replaced, said the feeder. Now, obviously Volvo, Toyota, BYD, Tesla, other Chinese manufacturers would strongly rebut these claims. And the reason is this. This is the section of the car where if you damage the structural underbody of the car, the car's written off. Sorry, my friends. You don't just suddenly get a dent in your, basically your chassis in the structure of the car and just go, oh, can you fix it? Uh, yeah, we'll fix that for you. It doesn't work that way. That's why cars get written off. This is the kind of damage that gets written off. Now, with Tesla's gear castings and their structural mega castings, the concept is this. You can, in fact, weld them. They're so strong, right? You can, in fact, cut sections out and Tesla will give you a replacement section for that part, apparently. I've been told by Tesla's repair center. So it is possible to fix them if that makes sense. Now, if it's catastrophic damage, which is, I believe, is what they're referring to here in France, then that's not the kind of thing you're going to fix anyway. The other thing is, FIDA is saying it's calling on the government to basically um, maybe try and ban Tesla. It sees Tesla as a threat. It sees car companies like from China as a threat because it should consider that giga castings are a risk and take appropriate measures to mitigate their use. FIDA therefore believes that this development could ruin long-standing efforts to restore purchasing power to households. Ruin long-standing efforts to restore purchasing power to households. This stuff is so drastic, it's insane. But also to accelerate the automotive industry's ecological transition and encourage vehicle repair. It therefore calls on the government to assess the risk of a rapidly expanding practice and to take appropriate measures to ensure that giga casting does not become synonymous in the near future with giga wasting. Wow. And far more expensive repairs, costly repairs for motorists. So this is an automotive industry that feels so threatened. It's making some incredibly drastic comments. There is a reason why Tesla's giga casting system has become popular in the industry Why other automakers are emulating it and saying it is the way forward. Look at the weight of Tesla's EVs, right? They are significantly lighter than the competition.
by a, a big margin. This is one of the reasons. Look at the safety scores of their EVs. They are first, second, and third worldwide. That is another part of this reason. Now, if you want a car less safe, sure, go and buy one of these cars that has 127 pieces welded together, stamped together, glued together. You tell me if that's really safer. The Renault Zoe, the basically car of France, has a one-star safety rating. That's the 2023 Renault Zoe. Apparently, that's safe enough for households. They should go and drive a one-star car that they, they sell at a pretty high price, by the way. Anyway, here's the point. Feeders' concerns about crashes. Apparently, they're capable of compromising a gigacasted part. Well, if that was to happen, then the damage to the vehicle would be so severe, then, of course, it would be written off anyway. Now, there's a comment here um, on Teserati. Chris says this. Given that the casting is the structural underbody of the car, not its extremities, any damage to a casting is going to be after a significant impact that would write off any car. There may be a few outliers to this rule, but that's going to be generally the case. I would have thought as the casting is a single piece from a single strong material, it would be easier to recycle than a mishmash of separate components bonded with adhesives, stamped with, welded together, and of course, riveted together using all kinds of different techniques. Now, it's also cheaper to make. This is a benefit for the consumer. The reason Tesla's EVs are cheaper than EVs, alternative similarly sized EVs from France, is because they use techniques like this to keep the price lower. It means that's a benefit for the consumer. It's not a negative, it's a benefit. Of course, insurance companies might raise premiums until they understand the implications behind repairs, but that's more of a temporary thing. And of course, you can shop around. You don't have to pick an insurance company that is charging you a high premium. There's a lot of options in the market. Now, the other thing is here, that's also an opportunity for Tesla insurance. Tesla insurance is already starting to take over the United States how long do these clowns think it's going to take before Tesla does the same thing in Europe? I'm actually really embarrassed by the French automotive industry. I haven't criticized them here at all on the channel. This is the first time I've done this. But this, these kinds of comments are so incredibly emotionally charged and so dishonest. I'm convinced they know that they're completely full of shit and just making this stuff up. So I'm really embarrassed because it feels to me as though it's like saying it's spitting the dummy. You're, like, you're in a race. You get thrashed in a race, right? Because you don't actually think about it. You don't use your brain and you, you've been racing for years. You think I'm the best at racing. Uh, I've done this racing for years. I'm not gonna actually learn a new technique. I can't be bothered. Along comes someone else, gets just gets into the sport, but they're looking at everything in a smart way and they try and work out the smart ways to race. They belt you in this race and you come and cry and you say, they cheated. They beat me, they must have cheated. That's what I think Magna and the French automotive industry are doing. And this, my friends, is the beginning of the end. This is what you do when you're in trouble and you know it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.